Good morning. <laughs> Peanut and I are here with you this morning. Uh, she has been either inside when I've been outside or outside when I've been inside, but today uh, we managed to hit the same place at the same time. I, <laughs> I read something this week that was kind of interesting. Um, since 1865, London cabbies, if you've ever been to Lon London, you know that iconic cab that runs around Lon London, the black cabs, that the London cabbies have been required to take a test that shows that they can locate a hundred thousand different, <laughs> she's pushy today, they can locate a hundred thousand different landmarks and locations around the city covering 26,000 streets. People say it's the most difficult memorization test in the world. Um, that it's, it takes some of them, it takes some of the cabbies something like four years to complete this particular test to get their full license, their full certification as a London cabbie. This has been going on for a long, so well, like I said, since 1865. Um, all these cabbies have had to learn, but there's been an uptick or an upside to it that some have learned, and that is that uh, there's a there's a, a university in London now studying the brains of cabbies, and they're saying all this memorization that these cabbies do um, is causing their, I think, see I shouldn't use medical terminology, but it's causing the part of the brain in their, the, the part of the brain that's in their brains to get bigger or to get longer. They've studied them uh, in MRIs while they give them a location and cause them or ask them to map out the route in their head that they would take to get to that location. They've studied them and found that uh, this portion of the brain becomes more active and this portion of the brain actually grows and becomes longer. What's significant about that is that People who have Alzheimer's, that portion of the brain shrinks. And so they're saying that this exercise that London cabbies go through to do all of this memorization may in fact fight Alzheimer's. And, and because there's a significantly lower rate of Alzheimer's among London cabbies than in the general pop population. It's interesting that the thing that may fight Alzheimer's more than anything else is memorization. And it's interesting that one of the things God, God's Word tells us to do is to memorize His Word. It says in Psalm 119.11, Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. We're challenged in Scripture to memorize the Word of God, to learn the Word of God to the extent that it becomes part of our minds, part of who we are. And it should be something that we do intentionally. Um, my youngest brother, who is mentally handicapped, some years ago went on a Bible memorization spree. And he would sit at his computer and he would write or type uh, memory verses over and over and over and over again until he had memorized them. I forget how many verses he actually memorized, but it was a huge number of of Bible verses that he memorized, and he's mentally handicapped. If he can do it, we can do it. It's something we do with our kids at or at, at Truth Trackers, our Wednesday night kids program. We work on Bible memorization, and it used to be a regular part of something that people would do with their own kids and in Sunday school classes, and it used to be something people just challenged themselves to do, but now it's so easy to just pull something up on our phone that we don't worry about memorizing. It's interesting that London cabbies are not, to get this certification or to be a London cabbie, you're not allowed to use a GPS. They have to know their way around all of these streets without the use of a GPS. You'd say that's absurd in today's world. Well, London is full of tradition and that's the tradition. Listen, don't miss the point. The point is, one of the best things you can do for yourself spiritually, and perhaps one of the best things that you can do for yourself mentally, is to memorize, and there's nothing better to memorize than the Word of God. 
Think about that. Hope you have a great day today. Beautiful day here in West Virginia. And uh, I hope it's I hope it's beautiful where you're at too. Mom and Dad, if you're watching, I love you. God bless.